Here's the definitive honors algebra one unit tier list in less than two minutes. So I know I've taken this a while back um, and I've already taken Calc BC, so you would think that I just put everything in the too easy category, but I can assure you I'll be using kind of a younger mindset um, and make sure I take into the, the, that youngness factor into account here and that this is probably your first high school math course. So starting off with algebra one foundations, it is probably gonna be in the light work category. Honestly, algebra one is a step up from seventh, eighth grade math. So even though this unit has a lot of like review of previous concepts, it, it is still kind of a, um, a bat swing at you really, uh, to really just get up to par with what algebra is expecting from you. Unit two is also gonna be in that light work category. It's kind of just a build off of unit one. It's a pretty smooth transition. You've done a lot of solving equations in the past. It's not too big of a step up. Working with units again is in the light work category. It's, it's not too, too, too terrible. Um, and linear equations and graph is also going to be in the light work category. Now, I think unit five really takes it up a notch and that's going to be in the mid category and system of equations is going to be in the mid category as well. I personally struggle with this a lot. I feel like even though there's elimination and substitution, some of these can be really challenging and complex. And it's really the first time where you start to see these, these really long, long problems with multi-step problems um, in math and high school, right? And the inequalities, I think, are just a little bit tougher than the um, regular linear equations and graphs. I'm going to put that in the mid category as well. Functions is going to be in the mid category as well as sequences. Absolute value is also going to go in the mid category, do I, though I do think it's harder than the other ones in the mid category just by a little bit. Um, exponents and radicals is also going to be in the mid category. And finally, in my opinion, the toughest unit of honors algebra one is quadratics. And it's going to be in the consider dropping category. This entire course has mostly been about linear equations, uh, linear inequalities and such. And so throwing in quadratics here kind of tends to steer the course off gear a little bit and throw some people off.